This demonstration will show how to share, save, and get full text for articles retrieved in the search on PubMed via LHL Searching for Articles video. Now, let's work with these results. When setting up the MyNCBI account, I set up some clinical filters that you can see here on the right. These may be useful in searches like this one. For example, I could look at only the 38 articles from these results that focus on therapy by clicking here. The first thing that I generally do when I begin working with the result set is to set my display settings here. There are a variety of things you can choose, but I always like to make sure I have 100 or 200 per page so I don't have to keep paging through my result set. I can make my choices, apply. Now I'm ready to start reviewing the titles of the articles to choose those that might be of interest to me. Generally, I click on the interesting ones because I can then save or share these citations as a group, and I'll show you how in a minute. Now, if you come to an interesting title, you can click on the title to read the abstract. On this page, you see the abstract, and you also see the option to look at related citations. This brings up a list of related articles sorted by relevancy, and it is a very good way to expand your search to see new results. Note that some of these articles may be outside the filters that you set. Now, if you want to read the full article, you'll have to use one of the links you'll find here to link to full text. PubMed does not store the full text article in its database. They're stored elsewhere on servers at the publisher, primarily. Now, the publisher link will work quickly on campus, but only if UAB licenses the content. Article Linker will work on and off campus and give you additional options. So when you open Article Linker, under Step 1, Get Online Full Text, if Full Text is available, simply click on Get Article, and you will see the Publishers page with an abstract and links to read or download the article as a PDF. Here's the article. When given choices, generally I choose the Publishers page or Highwire Press. If under Step 1, no full text is found, you have several other options by scrolling down the page to get to your article. This will take you to the catalogs to look for a print copy. And if we do not have it at Lister Hill online or in print, you can request a copy through Interlibrary Loan. If you do not have an account, you can create an account here. You will get your article delivered to that account within 24 hours or so, and the form will be populated for you right from that spot. Returning to the search results, let's select a few more articles. To save and share, the selected articles, use the Send To drop-down. And you can see this on individual articles pages when you click on the title as well. But this will send the whole group. The file choice creates a text file in a variety of formats. You can email your result set to yourself or someone else. And be sure to check your junk mail if the results don't show up within a few minutes or you can send these citations to your collections to store them online in your MyNCBI account. I will create a new collection, call it MS, and click Save. 
and these now will be saved in my NCBI. Okay, I will return to my search result and I'm back to my result list. If you're doing multiple searches, the clipboard is useful as it is an online space to house your selected citations during one browser session. It does expire after eight hours. You'll see there are now eight items in my clipboard and they will be lost out after eight hours of inactivity. But this allows you to do several searches and then send them all to collections or EndNote in one batch. Use Citation Manager to save the citations to EndNote. Now you can keep searching by simply making changes in the search box. If I'm looking for oral treatments, for example, search. And here are 20 more articles that you may or may not have seen. Notice you can tell if you've already looked at it because it says it's in the clipboard. Select the ones you're interested in. And send them to the clipboard. All the articles you selected from both of your searches and you can send them to EndNote or to a collections all at once. To navigate through all the searches that you've been doing, click on Advanced. Your search history includes all the searches you've done in this browser session and you can click on any result set to get back to that search. For more information on using PubMed effectively, including MeSH and advanced searching, check the Lister Hill Library PubMed Guide or Ask a Librarian.